It's Sunday, September 28th. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Beautiful sunny day. Unseasonably warm here for September. Today's objective going into hives is just check how they are for resources going into winter. See how heavy they are. See how much honey stores they have. And also what I'm looking to do is put my entrance guards on just to keep the mice out. And then this will also let me tape them off and close them off if we start to get to an area where they're going to start robbing the hives. One of the things that's been going on here in New Jersey is it's been really dry and while the goldenrod and asters and fall plants are up it's not been a great bounty so we're going to look and see how heavy each hive is and check them to make sure that they're situated with enough bees so that they can overwinter and make sure that they're closed off so that any opportunistic bees coming in aren't going to raid what we have and put these hives at a disadvantage. So what I, I know what I have going on in this hive. I had a good brood chamber in the bottom. I had some movement up into the top box. In late summer, in a willful hope, I put an extra box on top and I've been feeding them. Today's the day I'm going to find out whether they did anything with this box. My hope is that they would have stored some comb or done something up here and they could use all three boxes going into winter. I don't think there's anything in here, but it was worth a try. So let's see what we have going on. You might notice that I have a spare hive stand here with an extra nuke. That's a quiet box as I take frames out. Instead of laying them out in the yard here, especially if they have honey on them, I notice a large number of ants clustered on the lid here and across the top also. This is a feeder box on top so they're probably in getting whatever remnants and morsels that they can out of the sugar. And I just keep the top hive cover on here so it stays with the hive. So I was saying I have a quiet box here because this is a time of year if you take a frame out that has a little honey or open nectar you do not want to have a problem where bees are robbing, so I'm gonna put it in a quiet box and so nobody can get to it. So as I look across, what I see is foundation, 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 and these center ones, they've actually started to build a little bit of comb on. There's really nothing here for them to work with though. There's no comb storage. Let me take a look and see how much they've built out. But pretty much this is an empty box. If anything, what this achieved is the bees have been up in here. There's a little scent of the bees on the hive. It's not necessarily a total loss. And as you can see, they have started to build out some comb on here. Now the good news is right underneath of them, I see a complete box full of bees. That's fantastic. That means that I have two boxes full of bees. Now I've checked these boxes for mites. And I think what I'm going to do is feed these guys and see, gals, if they'll keep building comb and potentially store some nectar up here and do what I want. I figure I have through the remaining days of October and into early November if we stay in a warmer pattern for them to do something here before I have to abandon this notion. So that's it actually. For this hive I'm done. I know what I want. I wanted to see what's up in here. I've given the hive a lift test, and it's fairly heavy, medium. It could use some more stores, so I'm positive of that. So I'm not going to go in and disturb them. While it's 80 degrees today, it's 95 in the brood chamber. So the more you open this box, the more you set them back. In fact, let me not stand here and talk and put the cover back on. Now I have sugar solution mixed up. I'm really not a fan of feeding bees, but in this case, it was a brand new hive this year and they're going to need a little bit of supplement because the fall flow has not been good whatsoever and by the time they really got going in spring there wasn't much out there for them so I've had to help them along first year help them along get them good to go get them into next spring and then they'll be on their own and they should be self-sustaining so that's it I'm done with this hive I will come back later and put some food in the feeder one thing to note it's still warm enough now September October to use a top feeder and I'm hoping that it'll stay warm enough 
although we've gotten into some nights in 40s, 45 degrees, that this liquid won't get so cold up here that they won't take it or can't evaporate it. Uh, we'll see. We'll play weatherman and watch what's going on. So hive number one, that's all I'm going to do. Now I have an entrance reducer I'm going to tack on the front and then I'll move on to the next one. So you can see the bees are backed up at the entrance of this hive. I just put that entrance reducer there. It's really like a mouse guard. They have to figure out how to get in and out of it. Although I've used these for a lot of, lot of years and uh, I'm really happy with them. One thing they say about them is that when you have a full nectar flow or full flow, they tend to reduce the amount of work the bees could do getting in and out. So I usually keep them off and then I'm looking for that perfect time to put them back on. I think you could see through some of the bees going in and out that there's a lot of pollen on these, which is good. That means they're building new brood. They're probably building the last brood cycle that will go into overwinter. They're a little bit disoriented now because I just set that entrance reducer after having a full gap to work with, but they'll get used to it and it'll be business as usual. And the good news is mouse or any other type of critters trying to get in and out won't be able to get through. This hive's just like the one we just looked at, the cedar hive. It's brand new this year. It's a polystyrene box. This hive is just like the one we started looking at. No. This is our hive number two. It's a polystyrene hive. It started this year. It's been a little slow to start. I'm in the same situation as the other hive that I talked about. The two boxes had brood in it and bees. This box had nothing. I put it on in late summer, midsummer, early late summer. That yeah, was midsummer. Looking to see if maybe feeding the bees will get them to build this out and they could have three boxes to overwinter. I'm going to look at the feeder, see what's going on in here, and look in this box, and that's it. Uh, we'll see what happens here. So this is hive number two for us. Polystyrene hive started it this year. It was slow to start, fed it. They built out the bottom box, gave them a second box. They built out mostly the second box. On a whim, gave them a third box, hoping that if I fed them late summer, early fall, they would spend a lot of time potentially building comb and maybe getting some nectar up here and winter in three boxes. So now I'm gonna see whether or not there's anything in this third box. I know this hive is a little bit light. I'm gonna feed it really heavily going through to fall. So let me see, I've given a little smoke at the entrance. Yeah, got a good number of bees up here. That's good. So as I look, I see comb built out. That's a good sign. There's a hive beetle. There's another hive beetle squishing it. And it's really built out pretty well. I'm surprised. This whole box all the way through, I see new comb in it and I see bees right up through the top box also. So that's good news for this hive. If I keep feeding it, I might get that objective where they're going to fill this with nectar and convert it to honey. It'll be sugar solution, but So a few weeks ago I put these in and they were nothing but foundation and they all have comb in them. So that's good news. Again, this hive is a little bit light, but I see a lot of pollen coming in at the entrance. 
which means they're building bees and we're in the fall nectar flow right now so we'll see whether or not they can get situated for themselves. I'm just centering the frames up here in the top and making sure that they're tucked in tight so they don't build excess purplus. But I'm happy with what I found here. So again, not going to mess around with these bees here. I know what they got downstairs. I know they're mite free. I've checked them. They just need to get some stores in for winter and build those winter bees. So let me close them off and I'll put some feed on them later. One thing ingenious about these boxes is they have thicker walls for insulating purposes, but they've built a ridge that Langstroth boxes fit right on top, so my Langstroth feeder can go right on this box. I'm really happy about that and the way they engineered these bee boxes. So this box, same story as the other first two. This is box number three. This is an eight frame Langstroth. I'm trying different form factors. I like this box. So far I've been really happy with it. Full deep of brood in the bottom, late spring, all summer. They built out in box number two. I gave them box number three to see if they would build that out. I have been feeding them. Again, my hope here is the same as the other two. If I could get all three of these running, and go into winter, I'd be happy with it. I checked this box yesterday. It's actually pretty heavy. They have decent stores in here. I did a little tilt check and uh, it's got a good, good load on it. So again, I just want to see what's going on up top. I don't intend to go through and break out this hive. Nothing on the inner cover, which is just sitting here on the feeder. I put a little smoke in the entrance just to let them know I'm coming. They have glued the feeder on in a big way. Top box is loaded with bees. Good to see. Not as successful as the other, but they do have comb built out. So let me just go take a look. Oh, that's good. So one is foundation, two is partially built, three looks like it's built out of eight. Let's take a look and see what we got here. And it's all comb and it's actually got some nectar stored in it. So this is great. This is exactly what we want, right? We're going to get three deep boxes going in or at least two and a partial. Bees look good. Small bees in this box. This was a swarm captured earlier this year. The origin of this box. And let's see what we got underneath is a full complement of bees and I see capped nectar down there. So this hive is right where it needs to be going into winter. And if I could get them to fill this top box with honey, all the better, I think. Quite a bit of propolis inside this hive. I don't know, there's just something nice about this box. You think about a 10 frame hive versus an 8 frame. I always find the out two frames really not useful. There's one thing about the outer frames when you're using them. When you pull them out, you don't tend to be squishing bees because there's not a lot of population out here. Here, when you get down inside, there's bees all the way across. But it's more efficient use of space, and I always wonder whether or not, having first tried these hives, whether they're actually the appropriate size for a cluster. Um, anyway, let me go back to getting to the rest of the hives. Good to go here. Again, I got a feeder on top. I'm going to keep feeding them. I want to be careful here, since they have stores, that I don't overfeed them. I do not want them building nectar down into the bottom that the queen can't lay her winter bees if she needs to. 
And the good news is I see comb drawn out all the way across. They looks like they started on this side, frame eight, seven, six, five, four, and three have comb. If I get the number one here, not so much. They've started, but it's not built out. It's it's a foundation. But on three, they're good to go. So my thought is, is that if I do feed them, they have a place to put nectar up here. So I'm not in jeopardy. But when you're feeding your bees in the fall, don't go crazy. If your box is heavy, ease off. You don't want to fill so much that they backfill the brood chamber and shut the queen down. All right, let's close this up. We'll go to number four. Okay, one, two, three, number four. This one's just like the other ones. Good brood box, good secondary box. Put a, a medium on top, hoping they're building it out. This was foundation just a couple weeks ago. I put a little bit of smoke in the box, been feeding them. This hive started from a split this year. It got started about mid-spring, so it had access to some of the spring nectar flow and thus far it's been doing pretty good bees are spilling out it's a good sign so I have some population of bees up here not a ton this hive got started with a box that had some built out comb. So they really didn't have to build it out as much. Just give a little light smoke. I see hive beetles running all over the place in here. And I'll tell you why. It's these frames that I hate. And I really need to do something about it. And I'll tell you what I mean in a minute. I bought these frames. I thought it was interesting that you could top load the foundation but they come with a groove in the top. And the groove in the top is the perfect place for hive beetles. So if you have a hive beetle, it's like a hive beetle hotel, <laughs> these frames. And really what I should do is I see hive beetles running around all over the place in here. Now when I open the hive, I'm taking care of hive beetle jail. Now they've got drawn foundation here, but I see nothing in it. I'm looking down in the box below though and I see lots of bees and I see capped honey. So I'm just looking to see if they have any nectar up here whatsoever. I'm going to put these in my quiet box because they got some open nectar and I just dropped my lid. Comedy of errors here. So immediately I saw some bees in the air come in and look in this box as soon as I put those over there. So I made mention of the grooves. Sometimes the bees take care of it themselves. So here's a box with the groove and this is the groove that I'm talking about. If you ever see these frames, don't buy them. Or seal them off, just close them. Now the bees have filled this groove in so there's no place for a hive beetle to hide in there. Let me make sure I know my objective, which is there's no nectar stored in here. This one, however, they have not filled in. And when I opened it up, I saw hive beetles running all over the place, escaping out of that groove. So I see what I see, and I know this box has the opportunity to also take on some feed. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the cover back on and just like the three before it, I'm going to feed this. It's relatively heavy, but it's not there yet. You want 60 to 80 pounds to overwinter and a little more honey than what they need. But I'd rather have them have more honey and a good population of bees than not. So Okay. So 
So like the other ones, I'll come back and feed this one a little bit later. Now I'm going to take a look at a top bar hive. I got a lot of questions about this. This I built out of scrap lumber from my yard. Um, it's actually an old oak floor that somebody built. They had all the scrap pieces and that's what I built it out of. The top has insulation in it. There's uh, foam all the way across the top and I'm using Kelly um, foundationless bars in it. This hive was about the size of a medium-sized nuke when I got started with it and it's not grown really well. We had to move it out and uh, well, anyway, let's take a look and see what size it is. See how they're doing. I have been feeding it, so I'm hoping that they're building some comb and they're building a, a decent sized nest that they can actually ever winter in here. So the nest is situated right here. There's a follower board right here. Underneath the follower board is a feeder. And they've got some comb that I've given them from this side. And I want to see how they're progressing in here. So I'm going to go from the side that has nothing in it. You can see what the bars look like. I'm going to pull the follower board back. And as expected, the feeder is empty. So we'll fill this up. I'm actually gonna go in in this hive because I'm curious to see what they have for stores. So it's interesting, they have this one frame on the outside that is built out comb in good condition for them, but they've not made use of it on the outside. Some of these are straight foundation, some of them are plastic foundation. I see hive beetles, four of them walking on the face of the comb. They got nothing stored on the outside. Frame one. They seem calm. Nobody's up on the bar looking at me. Frame two, brood. Decent amount, a little bit of nectar stored. The queen is marked in here. Brood on the outside here. And there is the queen. She is right here. She's kind of wandering around. So we'll put her back and make sure she's safe and secure. Frame number three. Sorry, I'm turned away from you. There's a little bit of brood. There's some nectar, some stored nectar. And same thing on this side. There's, there's brood that has emerged all through the center. There's brood on the outside that hasn't emerged yet. They got honey stored up in the top. need to get the sun in my back and I see eggs all the way throughout so that's good where the brood has emerged the queen has laid and they will fill that back in so they'll have some bees for winter frame number four is brood same exact condition as the one before it looks at being good shape there's nectar stored on this side I don't see any eggs in this one, but I'm okay with that. There's four. Frame number five. Last one I know that we gave them. Has pollen and nectar stored in it. Yep, same thing on this side. So this is their refrigerator. That's where their food is. Let's keep going. Frame number six is built out. Has a lot of drone size comb on it. No eggs. 
Now this is one they built since we got started. It's all drone sized comb which is really strange and there's nothing there. It's just empty comb. There's no stores in it. No eggs, no anything. Just a place for bees to cluster which is not a bad thing. Let's see what we got going on the next one. Nothing, an empty bar. Now here's an interesting piece. That's an empty bar, but the next one, they have built some comb out. This could have been something I gave them before that came out of another hive, and they're doing nothing with it. In fact, I'm confident that's what that is. So I'm gonna put that one next to the other, an empty frame. And this is comb that I gave them from before. So I'm going to put the combs together and see if maybe they could figure out a way to build on these. First experience with these, don't know much about it. That's why I have it, I want to learn. I guess uh, from a grade standpoint, I'd say this is about a C. I'm not overly enthusiastic that they've got a great situation going into winter, but these girls could prove me wrong. I'm going to put things back together here. I'm going to feed them, and I'm going to close them up and let them keep going. At, at this point, it's all I could pretty much do is just keep feeding them. I might actually consider giving them a pollen patty. I haven't done that. That would be a good idea for them. So I'm going to pour this into the jar feeder and close up shop and be done with them. Okay, this is my nucleus hive. My plan is if you're a beekeeper, you need to be able to overwinter nukes. I'm going to put this one on the bench between a couple hives. See the smoke there is smoking. The camera. So let me turn it off. The goal here was to get this in two deeps, but they've been in the bottom and they've not come up to the top whatsoever. I did a manipulation in the fall where I pulled some brood up to the top, hoping that they'd build it out, and I've been feeding them with this feeder. I'm going to look and see where they're at today. If at some point I can't get them to do this, I'm not going to waste these bees, I don't want to. Also, it's carnelian stock. I bought new queens this year, and I want to be able to propagate this in my yard. So what I'm going to look for here is whether or not they're up. And if I have to, I'll combine them with something else. But I really would love to see this go over winter as a nuke, which I'll explain a little bit later how I plan to do that. So no surprise to me, I have uh, bees up in the top. I have one frame in the middle that I tried to get them to do something with. And my expectation is that these foundation frames up in the top, they would build something out. This one, foundation. I don't know why they don't like this or what they're doing here, but my hope is that they're going to do something with it. It's really late for them to try and do something. Now the good news is it looks like they've started to do something on this one. But in essence, this is one box. Here's the one that I pulled up. We got it propolized in, so I'm gonna wedge it out a little bit. Boy, that thing is in there. There's nothing in it. Queen's not up here. There's just bees wandering around. It look better. Yeah, I don't understand this hive. It makes no sense to me why they won't use this. I wish a queen would come up here and do something. Just bees hanging out. No eggs, no larvae, no nothing. 
So this whole top box, there's nothing going on. They built some comb up here. And they're walking around on it. But there's nothing stored in it. So actually, I'm going to go down below. I haven't done that yet today, but today, this one I'm going to. And see what they have going on. I don't like what I see. Not as many bees as I want in here. This outside frame has nothing on it. It's foundation. Well, there's nothing for them to do. Just foundation here with a little bit of drawn comb. There's nothing in it. There's some nectar stored on frame number two. Nothing doing. Yeah, I have a feeling this is not a good candidate for whatever reason. I got fruit, caps, but no stores. Cap fruit, full face on this side. Looking for my Mark Queen. I know she's in here. I don't see her so far. Hot beetle crawling on my arm. Brood. Nothing new. Some pollen stored. No new bird in this flock. No queen either. I see no queen. That's not good. Where is she? Huge disappointment. So I'm going to spend a few minutes looking for a queen here, make sure I'm not missing something. That could explain why nothing going on. Can't do anything without a queen. Oh, there's the queen. She's marked. But what is she doing? She's got nothing going on. Show it to you. Hopefully you can see her. She's standing up on the frame there. Right there. So I'm at a loss as to what's going on in this side. Why she's not doing anything. She's shut down or why? I can't figure that out. Strange. I've been feeding it and they've been taking it, but they're doing nothing with it.
So I got a decision to make with this. Not, not in a good place. And I have a feeling the best option is to combine this with some other hive. And I don't know what to do with the queen. Paid good money for her, but she's not helping this situation. So I'm going to put it together and I'll figure out what to do with it later. And yes, I'm going to feed it just because who knows. So, so far I've been through four of the hives, went to the top bar, checked out the nuke, and now I have these four remaining. I just walked behind each one of them and gave them a heft. They're all heavy. This one has some treatment on it right now for mites because it had a high mite threshold. Those two were good. This one was okay. One of them was actually a watch. When I did the threshold, it was one mite above what was there, and I opted not to treat it. They're probably heavy enough. This one I would have loved to have had a third box, but I'm not going to attempt that at this time. I could see a lot of bees coming and going, as you could see through the camera. A lot of activity today. These hives all look great. I've been watching them over the weekend. I've peeked in on them a couple times. I think they're good to go through winter. As I said on the opening, I'm going to put my mouse guards on these. They have slots in here where I could just slide the mouse guards through and tap them on. And we'll get them covered off. I have my debate whether I actually want to do that today. I see so much activity going on. I don't know if I want to hamper the entrance. The one on the end does have the mouse guard already. So, and this one's got a strange opening. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to close that one off. I'll have to figure that out. I'll have to put a board across with an opening or make some sort of wire mesh covering. It's got such a small slit, it's just enough that the bees can get in. So I got a soccer game this afternoon that I have to get to, so I'm going to call it quits for now. I'll come back a little bit later and do some stuff, but I think that's it today for the filming. So hope you enjoyed it. Any questions you have, go ahead and leave a note in the comments. We typically respond to anything anybody leaves us. Thanks for watching. That's one for the blooper reel. <laughs> wow.